So I thought I'd do a tour, do the before and after. This is our garage and I have this little snotty little space here that I usually do the tomatoes in. I've done the tomatoes in there for four years. Um, last year we were really infected by bugs and you know the big thing about rotating crops yes we're going to do that so this year this is getting prepped for the loofah i'm going to grow loofah up here i'm hoping i know it gets tall i'm hoping we can use the chicken wire and post i have nails up here that i will tie strings i do the same thing with my tomatoes so i'm hoping it'll work so this is where my rain barrels are going to go. Cross your fingers, we may be picking up them tomorrow. Here's the little turtle I made. He's kind of hurting. I'm going to have to freshen him up. And I think I'm going to grow some herbs in it this year. He's going to have to move, of course, but I'm going to figure out something. This. I'm listening to the chickens. They seem very, very upset about something. This is my sloppy little flower and herb garden, and it does its own thing. I planted this about three years ago. You can see my little sticks are breaking a bit. I buried these in here. They were new when I did it. They're rotting now, though. This just comes back on its own most of the time. Sometimes it doesn't because we get so much water in here, all the seeds rot. So I didn't clear it off this year. Usually this is all tidy. I do it in the fall like everybody. But they said don't clear it. The birds, the bugs, they like all this trash all winter long. And I noticed a lot of bird activity in here. But this spot here, when it's up and ready in the summer, the hummingbirds feed here more than they do in my feeders. So, all right, here is my little rhubarb. And I'm hoping last year it was new, we didn't get any. The squirrels like to dig in this. So I'm hoping that it's going to come back this year. And someday I will get a nice little pot of rhubarb that we can use. All right, this is really a mess. I have my um, herb dryers hanging, pretending it's going to have something in here. I have everything in here, all kinds of the things I save. I have a hard time throwing away trash because I can reuse it. Tons of pots. We're going to put all of these in use this year, I promise. This is my workbench. <laughs> it's our little tables for the patio and eventually I'm going to have to get them back. Here is my will be horseradish this year. I had all kinds of little things in here, but um, horseradish, when I dig in there, I think it, it slated in like April, dig and cut the roots up and I'll plant the little roots. Now this is the damnedest thing I've ever seen. This is my cilantro I planted in the fall and look at it. I mean, this has been buried in snow and ice, and it still, I had no idea cilantro would do this. So this is kind of cool. These are my milkweeds seeds that I've had out here doing their little stratifying thing, I hope. And I hope they will pop up. They've been out here for a couple of months. And I use the little orange netting to keep the squirrels from digging because squirrels are curious and they just like to dig in my dirt. Here is my milk cartons. They are ready. When I first put the plants out, I put the milk cartons on there just to kind of shelter them, keep the birds and the squirrels from tearing them apart. And in case it hells or blows too much when they're little, this kind of protects them. 
This is winter rye and I didn't plant this as good as I wanted to, but hopefully it's giving my soil all kinds of nutrients and ready to go. This is my garlic down here. I should dig, I think I'm digging that up in April sometime. We'll see. I've never done the garlic, so we're hoping. As you can tell, the squirrels have checked it out, birds have. <coughs> this is my bug house. I'm going to go buy a couple sticks of bamboo and put them in there. And I'm hoping I can plant a tiny patch of bamboo to get my own bamboo sticks. I hate buying stuff that I can grow. This is a better bed of winter rye. Looks pretty. I do have a couple of little garlic in there. Here's Otto checking it out. Here's the rest of the beds in varying stages of being done. Um, this one on the end here, I'm going to switch over. This is cedar, it's too short. The dogs are jumping in here all the time. And of course, as you can see, I need to add dirt in here. But the dogs are not respecting this like they are the other ones, I don't know. Maybe a couple of inches height is enough to tell them this is not there. Stay here, Otto. I have neighborhood dogs barking. Otto, come here, okay. All right, and there's the one that I need to be dig yet. I think that'll be the last one for the year because this blank space here will be the trees that I don't sell. And, yeah. Hopefully I won't have very many, but we'll see. These are my little pots that I collected. Um, some didn't winter well. Auto, stay here. Some... The winter just beat the crap out of them. This one's really bad. I do have seeds planted. I think this is poppy over here. One of the other ones have whorehound in it, so they would winter over. We will see. I have various herbs. Um, I'm not loving the pots. I was really excited when I got them all. I'm not loving them. I may save four of the big ones. I'd like to put littler beds here in between the beds, the big beds, that you plant like your apple mint and your chocolate mint and like the ground cherries I'm now growing so they can, um, because they spread, they'll take over my garden. I think I'm going to do little diamond beds here, um, just like these but tiny in between and grow the crops that can't be put in a garden bed. All right, I have to let the dogs in. I'm going to do a tour so you can see before and afters. But I need to go put the dogs in. See you later.